Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys um, a little bit of news because obviously I haven't been uploading in a while. So I'm now actually a vegetarian um, and I just thought I would come on here and share with you guys my reasons why I'm now vegetarian because it's something that I get asked a lot um, just like in my day-to-day -day -day life because it comes up in conversation obviously because food is a big part of our lives. So for me personally, my main reason is to do with climate change. So it's no secret that I'm really passionate about trying to save our planet and I want to try and do as much that I feel like I can do to help contribute to, I guess, saving our planet from climate change because it's real and it's scary. And meat was something that I felt like I could give up. I was never really a massive meat eater. Sure, I ate meat because everyone does, like it's just a regular part of most people's lives. But I wasn't a huge meat lover. Like I was definitely consuming a lot of um, vegetables and stuff anyway. So agriculture in particular contributes to about 13 to 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. And greenhouse gas emissions is basically what's causing global warming. Um, and the 13 to 18% doesn't seem like heaps, especially when you compare it to fossil fuel emissions, which is about 64%, I think. So the burning of like coal and stuff that contributes obviously the majority of greenhouse gases, but agriculture is still up there and it's still a significant percentage for people to feel like they can make a difference by giving up meat. For me, I, I'm i very much an open person about the fact that I'm very passionate about the environment. And I was constantly posting stuff on my social media, constantly talking to my friends about how important it was and, you know, being an activist, I guess, for climate and saving the planet. And I started to feel, I guess, a little bit fake. I started to feel like a fraud because I felt like I was preaching all this stuff and then I was going home and eating a hamburger for dinner. And I just felt like I was contradicting myself, being a bit hypocritical. And that just didn't sit well with me. So I actually started to, I guess, feel guilty when I was eating meat. Because I had tried multiple times to give it up. And it just, every time I'd end up, you know, caving in. Because, you know, mum was cooking bacon and eggs that morning. Or someone offered me a slice of a pepperoni pizza. And... I just started to feel guilty about it though because I started to eat meat and I started to not enjoy it anymore because I just had this little voice in the back of my head saying this is really bad, like you've killed an animal, this is bad for the environment, like this is dirty, like I just, it kind of just took the enjoyment factor out of eating meat. So basically meat started to become less enjoyable. I started to not enjoy meat because I was feeling guilty about having it. and. Then what happened was I actually watched a documentary on Netflix. It's called Game Changers. I believe it's still up. Um, if not, then I'm sure you can probably find it on another streaming platform. But I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. And it's called Game Changers. And this documentary was my turning point, basically, because it just opened my eyes to so much more information about a plant-based diet that I just didn't know before. And it, it's an amazing documentary. I really highly recommend that you watch it. Game Changers is really good because it, it opened my eyes to the ways like that it could actually benefit my health. And this was something that I didn't know because everyone was telling me that, you know, vegetarian diet, it's bad for you. Like you're not getting enough nutrients. You're not getting enough iron. You're not getting enough protein, blah, blah, blah. I watched this documentary and oh my God, it just completely disproved everything that I had ever thought about me. But basically showed me how beneficial a plant-based diet could be for like performance in sport especially and as someone that does play sport I'm playing netball and athletics that was really interesting I was genuinely just like whoa like I didn't know that eating plant-based could actually benefit your sport performance because it actually gives you more energy and it can actually help you build better stronger muscle as well 
which I didn't know. I didn't know any of this stuff. So that documentary just absolutely just opened my mind to so much more. Also just about the health benefits, like it can help with like reduce the risk of diseases and other stuff that I can't remember off the top of my head. For me, Game Changers really just showed me that there were so many other reasons to be vegetarian other than just the environment. So even though that was my main motivating factor, this extra additional benefits that I could get just gave me that extra motivation to make the change. Um, the animal cruelty thing is as well another thing that comes into it. It's obviously something that doesn't sit well with me and it doesn't sit well with most people. I do agree that it is kind of ironic that a lot of people, they get so, you know, um upset and angry when you know it's a dog or a cat that's being poorly treated like the outroar that that can cause on social media is amazing and then they just don't care that that same thing is happening to pigs and cows and sheep and chickens in factory farms and that has always kind of confuse me because people are so quick to you know jump on and say how terrible people are treating animals but then they still eat me which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me and I did do a little bit more research I looked into PETA um, and they do a lot of really great work in terms of I guess advocating for plant-based diets because animal cruelty is is really bad and you know, they can say that their chickens are free range, whatever, but they just don't get treated the same way that I guess we would treat our dog or our cat. And that is, I guess, another motivating factor for me is that I don't want to see animals suffer. So yeah, that's basically my main reasons for becoming a vegetarian. Let me know if you have any questions because I'm thinking about doing some more videos about being a vegetarian and what my experience has been like with the actual diet of it. Um, so yeah, feel free to drop any questions and I think I probably will be making some videos in the future about the sort of things that I eat as a vegetarian and yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you at least learned something <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.